In this screencast, we introduce the QR code scanner widget and demonstrate its functionality by making a simple game where we find the lady in six QR codes. To begin, I have created a new app, named it Find the Lady, and I have uploaded six files, shown here in the Files tab. Now to the screen layout tool. First of all, I'm going to add the name of my game and some instructions to the page. I'm dragging over the rich text widget and I'll select and replace the text in there with my own text, Find the Lady. Now I'm going to drag the QR code scanner widget over. We'll come back to how we use that widget in a minute. First I'm going to add some pages, one for each QR code that I want to generate. So here I've gone ahead and added a new page called Tom and now I'm going to set its background image to an image called Tom which I've uploaded previously. Now I'm going to make that image fit so that it's not stretched or distorted. Now I'm going to add a button to that page and the button will eventually just take you back to the main page so that you can scan another code. As this is a long page, I'm going to add a text label with a message to say this is the wrong um, thing, it's not a lady, keep trying. Now, once I've set up that page just how I like it, then I'm going to use the duplicate function to make a lot of other pages. Essentially, all, each of the pages are going to do the same thing. All of the wrong pages are going to have a wrong message, which takes you back to the scanner. And eventually, the correct page, the lady page, will have the correct message. To save time, we've edited the screencast where I've basically duplicated five more pages, all with different images, and then set up the sixth final page, which is the correct image and is the lady image. So now we'll go back to that QR code widget on the first page. When you click on it, there's a Manage QR Codes button, which I've pressed, which brings up this interface. This allows you to add different QR codes. And what I'm doing is I'm typing in a full URL, www.appfurnace.com, with a slash and then a question mark and then a unique name. The reason that I'm setting them up like this is because that means that if anybody encounters that QR code and they read it with a standard QR code reader, will be directed to the website that you have entered. Ideally, that should be a mobile web page and it should tell them about the app that they should download so that next time they scan this code, they get an even better experience. Now, this is how the codes finally look. I've set them all up and navigated to the appropriate pages. We can now go ahead and test the app. In the app preview, I, it brings up an interface where I can simulate scanning a code and as you can see it takes you to the appropriate page. In addition to testing them on the simulator I can also print off the QR codes so that I can test them on my phone using the Calvium Player utility app. To print them I go back to the manage QR codes interface and at the bottom I can press the button view and print QR codes which brings them up in a different tab on my screen. I can test the app by using these barcodes on the screen and then when I'm happy I can print them off, cut them out and distribute them around my venue so that people can play my game. So that's a really quick introduction to the QR code scanner widget. You can find much more help and tutorials in the App Furnace forums and you can read our blog to find out how to make custom and attractive colourful QR codes if you want to make an indoor tour or augment a museum or indoor space using QR codes. We hope you find this widget a really powerful addition to the App Furnace Toolkit.